Hi there, my name is Lorraine Chai. I am the creator and book author of String Static Music Theory Books for Violin, Viola, and Cello. So if you don't already know, I've got 22 or so books that are out there and they are available worldwide. So if you are interested in learning music theory for violin, viola, and cello, or if you've got a child that's learning the instrument, or if you know people that are learning the instrument, please do refer them in regards to getting my books. It will help you for sure. And it's a fantastic material or method book in regards to your journey in understanding music theory of the instrument per se. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I've had a lot of people that have approached me in regards to my journey as a self-publishing author and a book author. I have had a um, video or a series where I had a couple of book authors globally in regards to their journey, sharing their journey as book authors. However, this is just a short video in regards to tips if you are looking into being an author yourself or publishing your first book. Before you start, it is not a, an easy journey, I have to admit. It was a journey where I've questioned myself a couple of times because I didn't realize how much how much effort it took in regards to self-publishing and the whole journey. I wasn't aware of all that. It took me a while in order to find my feet, but I, at that time, I never had a person where I could rely, relate to or rely on in regards to getting details or getting advice in regards to publishing. I am shortening this. If you do have questions, please don't be afraid to reach out to me. I am by all means eager to help you because it was a tough process for me and it was a lot of learning for me itself. So here it is. When you first decide to do a book or to write a book, first of all, you have to think of the title of your book, whether or not there are materials out there similar materials to your ideas in regards to the book that you're having in your head or your, the book that you envision. Next is not only that, what kind of content you want to put in your books. Next, after you've figured that all out, the next thing you need to do is um, decide on the title of the books and then work on how to get the barcode numbers. There are a couple of websites out there that will be handy. It depends on which country you're at. Um, I think the one that I had was based in Australia itself. Again, I can't remember, but I can always look it up for you if you want all the information. And after you get the barcodes, next is to get the ISBN. For me, it was ISBN. I think you can use something else as well. So, book title, ISBN, barcode. On top of getting that all sorted out, book cover. Do you want it to be designed in a particular way? Did you want a designer to design your book cover? Or did you want to do it yourself? There is a possibility of designing it yourself because there's lots and loads of templates out there that will help you. If you want to, you can try Canva. If you want to, you can try all other um, resources out there. I think the KDP, um, which is through Amazon, has a template where you can design using their platform. Um, if not, there should be other softwares, also should be other platforms out there which you can use. For me, I had designers that designed it originally, but now it's more of me tweaking it. I do use uh, Photoshop and um, the InDesign package itself, which is uh, a lot of help for me. In regards to printing, is what is the size of the book that you would like to have? Is it the standard A4 size? Is it a smaller size? You have to check out the measurements for that. Next thing you know is you need to think of cover or the finishing cover of your book. Don't go cheap. This is my advice. Do not go cheap because you're thinking, okay, I've got to cover cost of printing. I've got to cover cost of marketing. I've got to cover cost. Um, I, I need to be able to have um, you know, a return and you know, I need to benefit from selling my books. But the moment you have quality books is when it will sell. So try and um, look out, suss out the quality finishing of your public or the printer because all printers are different and they have different package. I can't tell you on top of my head in regards to what they offer because they're all different like I said but you can look through the list so that's what you have to consider. Consider the cover finishing whether or not you want matte or glossy whether or not you want the protective finishing where it does not rub against other books and the colors come off. A lot of things to consider. Content of your books. What kind of contents or how your contents you want it to be whether or not you want it to be black and white whether you want it to be in color Again, color will cost more, black and white is cheaper. The paper quality, whether or not you want white paper, whether or not you want thicker, thicker paper, you want glossy paper like the magazine, or you want cream paper like those um, novel books that you have out there. So 
Remember, we've got cover finishing, full cover finishing. We've got quality of paper. We've got the ink whether the, for the, your, your content, whether or not you want it black and white or whether you want it um, colored itself. The binding process, the binding. How do you want your books to look? Whether or not you want it to be stapled, sewn with the thread at the end or binding with the wire. Uh, now, there's a lot of advice that I have from uh, friends. I don't use the binding, the, the wire itself. It's because I understand that it bends and sometimes occasionally because of that, the paper tears. So I'm not really a fan of that. If you would like to have it as a look and you like the look of it, you can always option out to have it both um, binding with the wire binding and the stapled one or the threaded one. It's just so that you can have a variation so when you're on your road, tri road trips you can have the option of selling the wired binding one if you have people that are interested in buying that kind of quality of books but again the wired binding one is more expensive usually the cheaper option is the stapled one or the uh, the, the um, sewn one so by all means take a look at it and the cost of it printing cost you need to think how much do I want to price my books compared to how much it would cost to print your books. In this day and age, you don't have to print out like let's say 2,000 books or 3,000 or 5,000 copies per book because you have to then think of the cost of storing your books, where to store them, how long would it last, what happens if there's an error, what about the cost and how to get rid of it. There are a couple of platforms out there where you can purchase as you go which will be helpful in regards to storing books and um, then you can have the option of changing the content of your books whenever you want to. So here's a couple that you can keep in mind. KDB is connected or linked up to Amazon and they print on demand which means you don't have a whole stock of books sitting and lying around, right? It is a little bit pricier depending on how many books are sold and um, depending on which country it's sold. But again, you have to check between the cost you are selling it and the printing cost, which would benefit you. Another one would be Ingram Spark. Ingram Spark is also another platform where you print as you go and you don't have to pay in bulk. The only problem with Ingram Spark is the customer service is quite slow and it's quite bad. Other than that, everything else is fine and it was great where you can print at the location of the country rather than at the, con the country that you're residing on. I hope this helps. There's a couple of tips and things to think about in regards to publishing your books if you by any chance are interested in looking into that uh, department. So do reach out to me if you've got any questions or if there's anything that I've missed through this short video and let's get you on through your journey in regards to publishing your first book.